North Korea carried out two tests of intercontinental ballistic missiles and they claim to have a nuclear warhead that can reach the continent of the US. Trump responded to these tests by saying that North Korea will be met with fire and fury, which is perceived by many as a nuclear threat. As a result, both countries as well as several others are hashing out a plan of action. So, who would win in a war between the US and North Korea? Let's look at some cold hard facts. The defense budget of North Korea is estimated to be 10 billion dollars. The US's defense budget is 664 billion. North Korea has around 690,000 active soldiers and another 4.5 million active reserve personnel. In total, almost a quarter of North Korea's population can be called to arms at any time. The US has 1.4 million active personnel and just under a million on reserve. If both countries decide to activate their personnel, North Korea's army would be more than double the size of the United States. Well, that's unsettling. But hang on just a second. I'm not done talking yet. The United States has 13,700 aircraft. North Korea has 940. On the flip side, North Korea's naval powers outnumber the US 2 to 1. The number of tanks each country has is almost the same. But just because North Korea has a large navy, almost as many tanks as the US, and a large portion of the country can be called to fight at any time, that doesn't mean they would win a war. Because North Korea is an isolated country, much of their technology is outdated. Not to mention, they don't have enough oil to be able to power a large scale military. Military operation. The US has the most advanced military in the world. And now for the most important comparison of all. North Korea has enough plutonium to make 4 to 8 nuclear warheads. The United States has 5,100 warheads already on standby. The unfortunate repercussions of either country using nuclear warheads is of course the mass civilian death and the environment. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. According to US Senator Graham, if we have to go to war, we'll go to war. He also said the US will win that war. Donald Trump's defense secretary Secretary James Mattis also warned that the DPRK regime's actions will continue to be grossly overmatched by ours and would lose any arms race or conflict it initiates. Hope that answers your questions. I'm Charlotte Dobre and thanks for watching IO.